Hi, it's Mac from Minard's Leisure World. Today I'd like to take you through this brand new 2019 Cedar Creek Silverback 37 MBH. It is uh, a couples coach and a bunk model kind of wrapped up into one. Um, so I'd like to take you through some of the features and show you why I love this trailer. So starting at the front, we have a great molded fiberglass front cap, very consistent through the line. You also see that it is a fiberglass sidewall trailer. Now Cedar Creek's uh, gel coat fiber class is different from the rest. So if you'd like to know the Cedar Creek difference, definitely ask us, we are happy to tell you. Some features that we added onto this Silverback, <clears throat> it comes with a six point hydraulic auto level system. We also have hydraulic slides on this unit. Um, so it's a very tough system. It's gonna level you off automatically. And uh, it's just like putting the trailer on piles. So very solid system. You'll notice this unit's outfitted with the frameless windows. They're the umbrella style, so they're nice to leave open in the rain. And we have a great size awning. This is actually a 21 foot awning. And there's a second one on our campsite slide. Now, of course, they have the LED lights, the nice high quality Dometic awnings I'm a big fan of. The unit itself comes outfitted with two 30 pound propane tanks found right here. And right beside that is our baggage compartment. Now you notice it's very big and spacious. This is due to the drop frame design. They call it their Z frame, but good pass through storage. And on the opposite side, there's a couple features I'd like to show you there in just a couple seconds. Coming further back, you'll see one of our uh, outdoor marine grade speakers. You can keep the party going all night. We also have a cold water spray port here. Just uses a standard quick connect fitting and it comes with a little curly hose. So good for the, good for the feet or good for the furniture. This little access hatch is really handy too. I had somebody ask me, is this uh, the liquor cabinet? But not quite. This is actually how you access your central vac system. So for cleaning it out and you can use it for storage as well. Right next to that is a standard 110 volt outlet. And then we come to our entryway. Now the entryway is featuring the Moride stable step, really great steps. These are actually uh, spring loaded, so they're very easy to lift. You can lift them with one pinky. And you'll notice that our entry door is almost double the size of a standard RV entry door. This is the, the widest entry you'll find in the industry. Okay, so just on the opposite side of our baggage compartment here, uh, there's a few features I wanted to point out. I mentioned that this is an auto level system. There's a touch screen device to do that right here. Uh, below that is a reel for our 50 amp power cord. It doesn't get quite heavy and that makes it much easier. And then this is our water manifold station. Now it has an outdoor shower and I mentioned that quick connect for the cold water on the other side. Same hose is used for that. We got our battery disconnect. Uh, you can see we can operate and uh, close off different hydraulic valves and everything. This is your main hub for exterior features. Right beside that is a 12 gallon two-way water heater. It is a DSI valve, so it auto ignites. And uh, I do like that they went with the standard RV uh, at the maximum size. So here we are now standing in the coach of the 37 MBH. I just wanted to quickly start with our campsite slide. You'll notice first off those really nice big windows. So you can see what's going on in your own campsite. They also outfitted the trailer with these soft glide roller blinds. I love them. Um, they're just a lot more durable. They're completely silent and you let go and they just go into place. We've got a freestanding dinette. Two of these chairs do fold up and you can store them under the master bed. And then coming a little further down is our theater seating. Now this is a really high quality upholstery. It's almost like a cashmere material. It just feels really nice. It feels really durable. There's two cup holders as well as a center console and their power reclining. So if you've got some achy joints and you can't really get back and get laying flat, uh, the power uh, motors will do it for you. At the back of the coach in our living area, we have a nice large sofa, uh, not just a little love seat. And again, surrounded by windows, as well as those cupboards up above. Good for storing those board games and whatnot. Now across from our theater seating is our theater. This is our entertainment stand. So large, uh, this I believe is a 50 inch TV. Um, it's a Jensen Smart TV as well, and it's tied into our multimedia unit. This will actually control all the speakers inside the coach, but as well as the ones outside, and you can connect any way you want to that. 
Below that is our electric fireplace, and it's kicking out some good heat right now. It's quite warm in here, but that's really nice in your uh, full-time or seasonal site. If it's kind of a chilly morning, you can just relax, drink a coffee in your theater seating. Now let's take a look at the kitchen here. This kitchen is uh, going to be a good indicator of what's to come in the industry. Everybody is switching over to this style. So we've got that great island, solid surface countertops. This is almost like having granite. So really, really nice. Um, and then this is kind of uh, the main centerpiece of the chef's kitchen, this great cooktop. So this is a three burner with a cast iron grate. Nicer than what I got at home. Of course, runs on propane, and we got a larger oven underneath. Normally, those RV ovens, you can fit maybe a frozen pizza in them. This one, you can do some serious baking in. And then above, we got a full-sized microwave. I believe that's a 30-inch microwave. It's awesome. In the island itself is lots of great drawers. They're full extension, soft-closed drawers. Good dimension there. And then a double bin stainless steel sink. Beside their cooktop is a really nice big pantry, and they have all of these extension drawers. So it's like having shelving in there, but again, they're the soft clothes. Coming a little further back is our refrigerator. Now this is an 18 cubic foot RV refrigerator. So it is a two-way, runs on propane and electric. We get that really nice large freezer, double door, and of course stainless steel. Now, what makes this trailer so special? So far, it looks just like a regular couple's coach, but I mentioned it's a bunk model kind of rolled into that. Well, that's what this door is behind me here. This is actually just a barn door, really nice, uh, high quality uh, hardware on it, and it's a solid wood door. But when you pull it aside, you can see there's a bit of a hidden room. So I'm gonna let you in there. We've got one slide out in this room, and on that slide out is a tri-fold sofa. The trifold sofa comes out to almost a full-size queen bed, so if you have maybe your kids that are grown or some friends that like to stay the night, they have a nice bed to sleep on, as well as space to store their clothes. There's a nice size wardrobe in there with hanging space and two large drawers. You also would actually just take a look at our entryway. There's some controls here I'd like to point out. We've got a control for all of our upgraded fans and our uh, furnace and AC control here. Right across from our uh, entryway, this is our main control hub, and this is the in-command system. So it's a touchscreen system, controls all your lights, all of your slides, your leveling, absolutely everything right from here. Now, coming up the stairs into the hallway, you'll notice some nice actual steel grab handles. They're very sturdy. Um, I noticed some of the wood ones can wear out pretty quick, but these are going to be nice for you. And this is where the bunk comes in. So this is actually above that hidden room. You'll notice there are solid stairs leading up, not just a chintzy little ladder, solid stairs. We've got our own light controls, as well as AC venting and an upgraded fan. But this is just great. I, I can imagine as a kid, I would have a heyday up here. Nice little uh, netting on the sides there so you can store all your books or fun little toys. But it's just a great sleep space. I know a lot of kids would hang out up here too. Now right beside our master bedroom, we get into the bathroom on this coach. So in the bathroom, some pretty standard stuff. We've got a hutch above the foot flush porcelain toilet. Good upgrade over the plastic. There's a furnace vent in there as well as an AC vent in the ceiling. And then we've got a nice large size shower. You'll notice it's a triple pane glass door. And that just opens up the entryway a lot better. So if, again, you got those sore joints, it's easier to get in. Then we've got our medicine cabinet up above our uh, vanity. The vanity features that same solid surface counter that goes right into the bowl of the sink as in the kitchen and storage beneath that as well. So now in the very front of the coach, we're actually above our pin box now. This is the master bedroom. This master bedroom is fantastic. So some of the main features are gonna be our front closet here. Tons of great storage. We have hanging here, hanging up above. It's actually washer and dryer prepped. So if you're there for the extended stay, you can do your own laundry. Lots of good shelves for all the spare shoes and everything as well. And it's lit. It's, it's self lit in there so you can see quite easily. And if you really want, you could use it as a guest room too. It's big enough. 
Now that comes with two sliding glass mirror doors. And right across from that is our master bed. You'll notice this is a full king sized master bed and it is an upgraded mattress. This is the Denver mattress. Uh, they're US made, very high quality, uh, just like sleeping at home, if not better. Now at the foot of the bed, you'll notice I have lots of good space for getting dressed, but we have another Jensen TV mounted on the wall and already wired in. Below that is a second window, but also these great hutches, again, on those soft closed drawers. Um, so it's kind of like having a little mini dresser in here too. Now I wanted to switch spots. Now a couple more things I wanted to point out really quick in the bat or master bedroom is this kind of little nook here right beside the bed. We've got some hooks here, great for hanging maybe a robe or a, a day coat, that sort of thing. In the bed space itself, we've got two shelves by the head. Each side has a shelf, each side has a window with those same soft glide roller shades. And we also have two USB ports per side. So you can charge your devices right there and have your alarms ready for the morning. Well guys, once again, my name is Mac. Thank you for touring this 2019 Cedar Creek Silverback. This model was the 37 MBH. Some big important key points for you to remember. This is a mid bunk trailer. Even though it feels and looks a lot like an adult trailer, you can still sleep a lot of people here. Some of the main features I want you to remember, this one's got the six point auto level. It is a hydraulic system. We've got the king size bed in the master bedroom with that washer dryer prep. We also have a great size refrigerator, 18 cubic foot, and it's a two way along with that great cooktop. Now don't forget, we've got high quality furnishings in here too. Overall, this trailer really is the cream of the crop. So if you're looking for that 42 foot extended stay, high quality unit, this is the one for you. If you'd like to know more, give us a call at 1-877-842-3288, or you can come see us in Weyburn, Saskatchewan at Minard's Leisure World. Thanks.